Hey YouTube, it's me, Angel, my brother Alex. Yes, how you doing? Um, with Collectors of Games and Systems. If you already see my other videos, you know that. Um, my brother recently started collecting, so doing gonna, pretty good for my beginning. For the beginning. So we're gonna show um, stuff we picked up. I have a big, huge haul to show you guys stuff I picked up. Mine's is pretty small, but I'm getting there. But he picked up some real, real good rare items. He's gonna show you that. Um, do you want to start, Alex? Want to start showing you? Sure. Uh, first I want to show is some systems I picked up when I picked it up. Uh, it's a Sega Saturn. I went to a second hand store near my house and I picked it up actually for $10. The only thing that was wrong with it was um, the laser wasn't working as you can see but I went online and figured out how to get it working and it's working fine. That's a great buy. Ten, $10 for a Sega Saturn. I believe this is Sega Saturn 2. Model 2. Yeah. Model 2. Second thing I picked up is uh, Dreamcast from the same store. I paid 20 for it. She has a lot of consoles there, right? Yeah, she has a lot. But she doesn't know the price value on them, so she gives them for pretty good prices. I was able to get this for $20 with two remotes, all the wires, and you get to try it out there, and it worked fine. Um, the other thing I picked up from there, all these I picked up from there, all the um, consoles. The other thing I picked up was Super Nintendo because my wife wanted one she used to play when she was little, as you can see. And the other thing I picked up was Sega oh, Genesis. Super Nintendo? Uh, the Super Nintendo was, I believe, uh, 25. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Um, Sega Genesis, I, I picked up, it was 30 because it was a lady there, her name's Maria, she always gives good prices. But there was some other lady there that doesn't know the price. Yeah, Marie's like the owner. Owner. Yeah, Marie's the owner. So this lady tried to charge me a higher price, but I told her she was trying to charge me forty, but I told her Marie told me twenty. So she said, "Oh, thirty. Um, second thing I bought, I went to me and my brother went to eight bit, eight bit and up. Also in Manhattan. In Manhattan. Same marks. Same marks. So thirty-five same marks. But what I did is I was looking for some Sega Saturn games and I picked, I looked up what is the rare Sega Saturn games online and I was able to find, um, I found, this ain't rare but these are, some of them ain't rare, some of them are, I found um, Virtual Fighter 2, this ain't rare but it's a good game, it's not scratched at all in the case and everything as you can see, I believe it was $9.99. Some, most of, some of his prices are high. He charges yeah, over yeah. what they but some was fair. Um, no, I didn't get that from there. The other thing I got from there was um, Daytona USA. I, was, I paid twelve ninety nine for this. Mm -hmm. Now the, this Daytona, I know the um, Link Edition is a rare one. And That's he had cool. like three of them. So which one did you get? Oh. Uh, I'm going to tell you. Um, he had like three of them, so I just I said, let me open them up and see what this is inside. And if you're a gamer, you know that the Link Edition was only sold online and to a limited amount of people. And the only way you was able to tell if you had the Link Edition was if you open it up. As you can see, I got the Link Edition. The if you open it up, it comes with a black and white booklet that says Link, as you can see. And then on it's a small label on it that says uh, CCE Link, uh, Net Link, and it comes with the whole booklet, non scratch at all. And I guess he thought that this was the regular version, so as you can see, he only charged me twelve ninety nine. And how much does those go for online? Recently, I seen one online that went for a thousand dollars, and before that, a thousand and five hundred dollars. And they only show up online like maybe once a year. And I've seen one that somebody was trying to sell for $770. And you got a complete so For a beginner, uh, this was great. I was very happy with this. I was scared that he was going to open it and look and see that it's a different disc, but he didn't. But, so. Well, he has a price on it, so... Like, That's his loss. Even he was trying to give me a fight with some of the things I was buying because I was trying to get a good deal. Uh, he, you can tell he wasn't a gamer because he didn't care. He just was like, these are prices. He even charged tax on all his systems and everything. Uh, this is another rare game I picked up actually on a 
a game store, um, what is it called, Burning, Burning, what is it? Yes, Burning Rage? Burning Rain Rangers. Burning Rangers, um, I seen, um, What's just for, that for? Oh, just for Dreamcast, I seen, I'll uh, take a side I seen some go for 75 just to disc, for, for like 200 or 300 with the whole case, but I wasn't able to get the whole case. And on the actually 8 bit and up, they had the whole case, but he wanted like 175 I wasn't going to pay that. But I got this for $5. I'm so seriously go for And this goes for 75 This is another um, great thing I picked up. A game I used to play when I was younger for Dreamcast that I picked up, and it's not scratched at all. I got this for $9. Right down the street from my house, Crazy Taxi. If y'all if y'all ever had Dreamcast, y'all know this is an awesome game to play. It's fun. It's a one player game, but it's fun. And Gauntlet. Gauntlet is another good game. Legend. It's a good game. It's fun to play when you have more than one player. It's a it's an okay game. I, I like it a lot. But that's all I picked up, so I'm gonna let my brother take it over with whatever he picked up. Alright guys, um show you oh yeah, like I said I have a huge hole, so this is probably gonna take a little while. Start off, start off with some. Uh, I'm gonna pick over this closest to me. All right, so I picked up uh, this one. I picked up from Eight Bit and Up. Um, I just picked this up. I don't think they're really worth the price you're charging because they charge for, overcharge for everything, and they have like loose Nintendo games, and they charge for thirty dollars. <sighs> they think like just because uh, it's old means um, every just because it's old doesn't mean that it's all them the worth all of them are worth a lot of money. Anyway, so anyway, I just picked up Dragon Warrior. Uh, paid nine ninety nine for it. Pretty good game, first Dragon Warrior. Bring them closer so they can see. Uh, um, probably gonna play that a little bit. Good game. I like the Dragon in the War series. I should say Dragon. Uh, Dragon Quest. It's called now. And that's for series. the Nintendo. Yes, it's for the NES. Uh, NES. You can see that. Um, this I actually picked up today. Two games I picked up today. The same store where he picked up his uh, Saturn, what is it, Saturn games. Um, picked up uh, Gauntlet 1. Uh, if you see my other video, I have Gauntlet. I picked up Gauntlet 2 before. This is Gauntlet 1. This one is not in the box. I got Gauntlet 2. But I'm trying to eventually, I'm probably going to start collecting all the Gauntlet games. I got 1 and 2. Um, so I might as well continue from there. Picked up Mickey Mouse Good Pay. I never played this game back uh, when I was a kid. But um, it's by Capcom, Now I heard Capcom makes a lot of good uh, NES games, so I'm going to give this a try. So, pick that up for uh, $5. Oh yeah, and Gauntlet was $5 also. Make sure you bring it close so they can see what the game looks like, in case they want to pick it up. Um, anyway, also uh, got this from, got this also from the um, same place where I picked up the NES games, and that's uh, Power Rangers. My more Power Rangers for Super Nintendo. Um, really fun game. I remember playing this back in the day. It's five dollars. Why not? Yeah. Um, okay. And now show some games. Also, I picked up uh, this Silent Hill. There, five dollars. This is the greatest hits version. I really not that took collecting greatest hits version. I really like the original black label, but as uh, well, so I wanted to get Silent Hill one. In case with the uh, with the manual and the CD in there, the things in there. Uh, case come apart though, but everything's in there. And uh, five dollars, why not, all right? So picked up a uh, uh, Sega Master System Double Dragon. I played it for you know Double Dragon for the NES. So I want to see how the graphics are on this because you know Sega Master Systems has better graphics than the NES. So. Five dollars. Why not play that? Also picked up um, the first with all this Marvel vs. Capcom. Uh, I bet one loving Marvel vs. Capcom. I picked up the first one, Marvel vs. Capcom, for the uh, Sega Dreamcast. I have the Dreamcast, but I don't actually have any games. Um, picked that up for five dollars. And that's a steal because what I'm seeing online is it's going for like thirty dollars, I believe. So, so you can't beat that. All right. Um, now. Also picked up this over at the same store. 
Um, this is the uh, little uh, light gun case, or whatever you want to call it, for the uh, Nintendo Wii, just sticking another Wii mode in there. And it's what uh, games for? Uh, they say it's for Umbrella Chronicles, but you could use it for like any light gun game. But I really picked it up because I'm a big Resident Evil fan. That's my second favorite series right behind Zelda, which I'm actually thinking they're probably getting close, but they're probably going to be one and two. They're not even going to be one and two, they're just going to be one and one, my favorite series. Um, if that makes any sense. But pick this up. Guy gave it, throw it in for me for free because bought some other games there, so he just threw it in for free. Uh, only thing is, uh, it's missing the back piece, which you would put the, uh, the nunchuck on. But uh, for free, can't really complain. You just hold it with your left hand in there instead of holding it here. So it's a little less awkward anyway. So uh, with that, and okay, went to GameStop. Picked up uh, a few games. Picked up um, God of War. Never played the first God of War, the first few God of Wars. The only God of Wars I played was on the, um, on the PSPs, so. Uh, PlayStation 2, so yeah, um, I got paid eight dollars for it. Black version, you know, black. That's the only one I'm really go for. Eight dollars, got a walk, can't beat that. Then there's another game, a series, Dragon Quest. Because the first Dragon Quest I actually played was Dragon Quest 9. I really like that game. And uh, Dragon Quest 8, of course, I love level five. Every level five game I ever played, it's always good. So I'm sure I'm gonna have fun playing this game. So, um, alright, and then, um, second hand store that we usually go to, the Maria Where I picked up my Sega Saturn and everything. Um, I picked up a Game Boy. I actually picked stuff from a worker there, he was selling it. <coughs> Tried selling me for 10 but I was like, this, you know, this whole area right is missing, and the, uh, there's no that cover piece. on the back. So, I knocked him down to $7, and he said, okay, so... This is just a whole other place over until I get a better condition Game Boy. But I remember playing these when I was a kid. And it worked. I played all, played all the time. Um, and the plus came with Tetris, so... <laughs> I remember you playing that when I used to play Paperboy, if anybody remembers that. Yeah, I remember Paperboy. Alright. So, um... Alright, now I'm going to show some systems I picked up. Um, right now, I just remembered. I picked up, uh... Was it Retro 3 or something like that? Retron 3? Um, where you could 3 and 1, which I forgot to tell brother to bring over here. Um, you know, a 3 and 1 system, you could play Super Nintendo games on it, Sega Genesis, and uh, Nintendo games. I really just picked it up for like a top load Nintendo until I find a top, actual top load NES. But it's pretty good. Um, only thing I don't like is the controllers, because you can't put your actual controllers on. Um, but I picked it up a second hand store for, for ten dollars, so I can't complain too much. Um, another system I picked up was a PlayStation, the second hand store we always go to, PlayStation One. Um, it was a little dirty when I bought it. Um, picked up for twenty dollars. Just gave it a little clean because I had a lot of little brown stains. Wipe it all. Looks good as new. Looks good as new. Um, Another system, which I'm real happy about, that I got, because I went to my stepfather's house, and I remember playing this when I was a kid. He had the this is uh, Panasonic one. 3DO. This is the same, same one, one I used to play as a kid. If anybody remembers 3DO. Same one. The Panasonic, the real version. A lot of people, it was three versions. This thing, you know. Um, a lot of, it came with two controllers and some games. Some games. A lot of people, um, when it came out, a lot of people didn't get it because it was $700. My stepfather picked it up. But I'm going to show you yeah, all the games they still had back then. I'm so I'm sure you the video games. Give it to me for free. Can't beat that. Oh, uh, the problem is doesn't seem to read any games, but I'm going to work on it and see if I can get it to work. But for free, you really can't complain. So, um, some 3D, 3D old games. The, um, some 3D old games that he had, he gave me was uh, the 3D version of Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, which I heard is one of the best versions, one of the better, if not the best, I'm not too sure about that, so uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Street Fighter 2 Turbo for the 3 do very good. This game called Real Pinball. Pinball, <laughs> what else do you expect? That's a few uh, pinball tables you play. I forgot about this. 
This is actually I picked up at the uh, 8 bin up. Um, Tekken, the first one. Saw it in the black boxes. If anybody remember when PlayStation first came out and they were selling the games, for the jewel cases, they used to sell them in these black cardboard boxes. So I saw that. Paid uh, $10 for nine ninety nine. Comes Everything's in it. The, uh, the manual. This the game. Game's in perfect condition. It's $10. Why not? Alright, back to the 3D game. Another game picked up. I remember I used to play this. Then it also had it for the computer. I had it for like almost everything. Lemons. I used to play this game. You know, you ever played a lemon game? You know what it's all about. Um, so that's one of the games that gave me. Another one, which is oh, my brother. He loves. This is a game he used to play. I mean, oh, yeah. He used to put so many, so many hours into this game. <laughs> Road Rash. Yeah, best games ever. Huh? And this is the best version of Road oh, Rash, yeah. I believe. The, the music is the great. Music. The graphic is graphic. great. Then they had the uh, cutscenes. Yeah. S and B cutscenes. Everything. Um, I'm just wishing we. Hopefully, I get my 3D going because I know he's he loved to play this again. So uh, that's it. Um, game I never played. We never played. We don't really play sports games, but free, so I just took it. Uh, John Madden Football, the first one for 3DO. Um, comes with everything in the case and with the manual. All these come with all the manuals, the case. So just took it. Now this is a game I put tons of hours into. So yeah, I still never beat it though. But hopefully I'll get my 3DO going. I'm gonna beat this game. Guardian War. It's not in great condition in the box, but the CD is good condition in the case. I love this game. This game, I used to put so many hours in. Like every day I come home from school, go on a 3D. As you can play, tell by how the box <laughs> Play this game to death. I can never beat it. But I love this game, Guardian War. Hopefully now that he's older, he can yeah. beat it. Yeah, yeah. hopefully uh, he can His brain is much <laughs> stronger now. Uh, and I forgot. Picked this up. I, I used to own this one. I actually owned the uh, Resident Evil 4. I picked up at um, a bin up. Uh, $12.99. Probably a little paid, a little too much for it, but eh, for GameCube. Um, I actually owned the uh, red case version. If you might remember that, it was like a special edition of what came with the game, a lithograph, and um, something else. I can't recall. I think it was just about it. But um, I had a Oh, I'm a big Resident Evil fan. Like I said, I had a bunch of Resident Evil games, and um, so I'm and I lost some marks. They, so I'm trying to start up my collection again of Resident Evil games. So Resident Evil 4 picked it up. Seen Resident Evil there, the black box version at even up, but you charge 30 bucks for it, which I refuse to pay that. But so eventually I'll pick up some uh, all the Resident Evils. It's just easier for me to pick up than uh, which one I'm doing the Zelda collection. And try to get all the Zeldas in box. That's so look be. for that. That's going to be real hard. That's going to be expensive. Yeah, very expensive. But uh, eventually, I believe I can do it. Um, so guys, that's all our pickups so far. We probably we're going to be picking up a lot more stuff over the several weeks. Especially my brother, since he's still talking now. He's going really good. So, um, so if you like this video, comment, subscribe, leave a comment. Um, comment, subscribe, and like this video. Tell us what you like, what you dislike. Just uh, anything, any tips or anything you guys want to leave, just let us know. Anything else you want to say? No, that's it. Alright. Alright guys, see you later.